Hey guys, in this video, I will share my six steps how to become a digital leader as an insurance or banking professional. No, 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 no. I won't sell you a crappy ebook or a weird webinar. I really, really, really just give away my six steps for free. So I listen to this. I'm scouting digital and tech trends around the world in order to bring it to you. And I've helped numerous companies to set up ecosystems of digital products and services and to increase their reach with attention hacking. First, just start whatever your ideas were. Do not wait for anybody. Do not wait for approval. Just start in baby steps. Don't wait for the next five-year project plan, portfolio process to begin. Just, it doesn't matter if you're the C-suit, senior VP, director, or subject matter expert, or the janitor, just start in your journey. A lot of people tell me, yeah, it's really nice, Robin, that you propose your 666 steps to become a digital leader in the industry, but I don't have time. Well, number two is make time. What does it mean? I would say go every Sunday or Monday through your calendar and do the following. Decline every single meeting that is not necessary not to get fired. Another way is to shorten the meetings, to make from a one hour meeting a 30 minute meeting and making from a 30 minute meeting a 50 minute meeting and making from a 50 minute meeting a seven minute call. The funny thing is I applied this uh, all on my earlier jobs too and this liberated me of a tremendous amount of uh, meetings and meetings were killing my time and I got a lot of time to really work conceptualize to develop ideas and, and work on really strategic topics and it gave me also time to become a digital leader in my organization. And there's a great side effect if you have done this for a while people will stop inviting you to meetings where they socialize and don't really work on stuff. Third, really try to focus on your company or on yourself. Don't compare yourself with Uber and Amazon and Facebook and Tencent and Alibaba and all these great companies. They're great companies but you can change where you are, at least not immediately. It's really important not to compare yourself with others. Compare yourself and your company only with itself and then you will see progress and that's satisfying. Fourth, go to LinkedIn, go to Twitter, follow the thought leaders and influencers of your industry, finance, insurance or any other industry and really try to listen a lot. Listen to the debates, listen to the players, listen to about the topics, learn about new trends, and you will see that sooner or later, when you only invest 30 minutes each day listening to that content on LinkedIn, YouTube, and other channels, that you will see in the debates and the few meetings that you actually still attend, that your arguments change. But you're not in the company bubble anymore where arguments repeat a lot of times, but actually you will hear yourself saying things you read and heard somewhere else and suddenly you're the person with the unusual digital ideas. Number five, I cannot urge this enough. Go also to conferences, events in your industry where innovators of other companies meet that have maybe the same position as you have and also go to events, conferences that have nothing to do with your industry, but they are also struggling in digital transformation. And the great thing is they're all struggling. And some say, Robin, I cannot spend thousands of dollars and euros flying half across the globe like you and participate in all these events. Stop, that is not necessary. I experienced that in a lot of locations, you have local meetups of startups and founders of um, product developers, of designers, of developers in general, of project managers in one industry or cross industrial and I think in almost every single city around the globe you have meetups and meetings and associations that deal with these topics. And in the case you really don't have that, then found one. Call your five buddies, ask them for a drink in a bar, post it on LinkedIn on Twitter and see if anybody else is coming. And here comes number six, podcasts. Well, all right, I stopped listening to podcasts 10 years ago, but I started two years ago again. There's such a rich variety of motivational business and content for the industry out there. So many great podcasts 
and I actually listed a few down there in the insurance industry. We have, for example, the Spot on Insurance or Apple Travis podcasts and a lot of others I uh, put down there. Well, I listen to podcasts every single day I'm going to work. It's a 12 to 15 minute bike ride, but I listen to a lot of podcasts, to a lot of great podcasts that inspire me and I learn a ton by just listening to it. These were my six steps to become a digital leader as an insurance and banking professional part one. Hey guys, it would help us a lot if you could hit the subscribe button down there and to make us also grow here on YouTube. Thank you very much.